Good afternoon guys, it's Saturday, December 11th. Yes, we're back with another vlog. We're not doing Vlogmas, but I decided to go ahead and come back and just do some vlogs, maybe like two or three vlogs before Christmas, and just call it Christmas 2021. So I figured this way, if not having such a great day, we don't have to be, we don't have to vlog. Because when you're doing Vlogmas, you kind of have to, even if you don't want to, because that's just part of Vlogmas. So since this is going to be a little bit more of a difficult Christmas for us, I figured it would work out better this way. And honestly, the main reason I wanted to do this is because I didn't realize after I stopped vlogging how much I actually kind of missed it. Yeah, I did have a bad day that one day, uh, and we have that I've made that video and then I've had other bad days and Brad has you know we all it's just really hard right now so but then we have good days too so I figured this way when we're having good days we could just vlog and if we're not having a good day we just won't vlog and then we're not stuck in a oh we have to vlog because it's vlogmas you know I could have still called it vlogmas and then just didn't put up a vlog but I don't think that's fair because I you have that's part of vlogmas is vlogging every single day and I didn't want to do that so I don't want to call it Vlogmas if we're not vlogging every day. But um, I think in 2018 we did, we didn't vlog, we didn't do Vlogmas that year and then we just called it Christmas 2018 when we did the vlogs during December and I think that's what we're going to do. And a lot of it also was because of the overwhelming support we got on the video on the last day of Vlogmas. So much support from everybody. I was just, just so touched by all the support and all the comments from everybody. and. Just seeing all that, it made me want to vlog more. It made me want to do more videos because it reminds me how much I love YouTube and how much I just love love all you guys. We we love you all, and it's just so so rewarding doing these videos, and we really enjoy them. So, um, you know, we share the good and the bad with you. So, um, I'm glad that I did let you know how what was going on though right now, and we're having a hard time this Christmas. So. Um, yeah, but I think we're going to do, we'll probably do maybe a couple of vlogs and then try to vlog, um, we'll probably vlog like on Christmas and stuff, because we usually like to show our gifts we get and things like that. So I think we're going to try to go ahead and do this. And then I have some candle videos I need to put up, so I'm like, I want to do those. I don't think we have too many things to review right now, food wise, but um, yeah, I do have some candle videos to put up. So yeah, um just got home from work it's my Friday I'm off the next two days Brad's on his way home he went to our nephew Parker's birthday party that's our niece and uh, nephew that bought our house their son turned one year old today so their birthday party was today I couldn't go because it was 1130 and I worked till 130 Brad went he's on his way home now and then I think we're gonna go get our booster shot because we are eligible for our booster we were uh, vaccinated back in April we got our first dose in April and our second dose in May so it's been almost seven months since we got our second dose so we're eligible for the booster I got the Moderna back in May April May and Brad got the Pfizer um, I think we're gonna go to CVS I can't go to the same place I went because they did it at my work back in April and May, but they're not doing it at my work anymore, so I'll have to go somewhere else. And Brad, he went to this one place, but I think we're just going to go to CVS. But I think CVS is only doing the Moderna, if I recall correctly. So um, I think Brad might do the, just do the Moderna. I heard it's kind of good if you get something different than what you got the last time because it helps the immunity better if you get something different. So Brad probably will get different because he got the Pfizer, but I'll probably just still, I'll just get the Moderna again um, since that's what they're doing, I think. So I think we're going to do that. I'm going to try to drink, I've been trying to drink some water since I got home because I heard if you drink water, 
before that kind of helps you out a little bit. I think I did that the last time. And then uh, afterwards, I took some Tylenol. So hopefully that will help. So I think we're gonna do that when he gets home here in a little bit. And I got some candles. I got some candles from Homeworks. They sent me a box of candles. So let me open it up here and I will show you what they sent me. All right, it is the Country Inn collection. We have Mold Wine, Country Road, and Pine Needles. So that's awesome. I don't have any of these. I, what do I want to say? I think I had Pine Needles before. Did I have, was that in a different package? Pine Needles, Pine Needles. That sounds real familiar. I can't remember. There's been so many candles, I sometimes forget if it's been out or not in a different packaging. I don't think it was. Maybe it was. I'd have to go back and look at my videos. So yeah, they didn't even tell us they were sending these to us. So yeah, I don't know if I'll do a video. I might just post about them on my Instagram. So yeah. Mmm, that mold wine smells really good. That says mold, red cabernet, black apple, crushed cinnamon, and cranberry. That's really good. I get. Mmm. It does smell like wine, but that cinnamon in there is really good. I love that touch of cinnamon in there. Country Road. Gala okay, apple, clove leaf, orange slices, and tonka bean. Okay, that smells good too. Oh my gosh. That was really good. I really get the clove and the orange slices. Wow. I like that way better than I even thought I would. I love like clove buds and cinnamon and orange stuff. It's spicy. I love it. That smells so good. And then pine needles. Pine needles, cypress, frosted greens, and a fir balsam. So definitely tree, but frosted greens. That's interesting. Yeah, it smells just like a tree scent. Mm, yeah, that's. I do get a little bit of greens in there. Frosted greens. Hmm, that's different. It's like a little. It's tree with. I mean, trees are greens, but. It's got like an earthy green type of, almost like a plant kind of a green. That smells nice. So I'm really impressed with these. So thank you, Homeworks. And I will, if I burn these, I'll try to do um, some reviews. If not, I will, I'm going to try to do my empties videos again. So I can at least talk about all my empties videos because I stopped doing those, but I'm really thinking about doing them again because I miss doing them. So I'm here with Brad. He got on your heated seat. Yes, it's cold. Brad got home, and um, <clears throat> it's cold outside. Yeah, it's 46 degrees out. Burr. And uh, we're getting ready to go to CVS to try to get our boosters. I think we can go there. Hopefully, we can go to the one that we're gonna go to the one Marco got his shot at. Marco got his in September, his second one, so he's not available for the booster. He can't get his booster until March, March 18th, I think. We're driving by these apartments that opened up right across the street from us. These are the townhomes, so you get a two-car garage. So that's the front door at the bottom? Yeah, and then oh. you go up, and then you pull in the garage and go up. So they have these townhomes or apartments. They got the garage. Oh, there's no door to that garage. Ooh, there's heat in that. Uh-huh, it's up. Where's the door? Back up. I didn't see no it door. So if you can see, these it's are like up. townhomes. Sorry. See, it's up and there's heaters in there. I know, where's the door to the, go huh? up to the house? So oh, I think you go out and go. I thought there was the doors in the garage that goes to the place. I thought there was. I thought there were stairs. So it's pretty much, you gotta go outside still. It's well, just, just, the garages right are pretty much underneath you. Mm -hmm. So it's just like ours, except the garage is right there. So you don't have that far to walk. I thought it, there was an inside entrance to the place. So you don't have to go out in the cold at all. I guess a lot of people from our apartments moved over here 
They said like what, 68 people or something? 75 people. Holy shnikes. And then um, some of the maintenance people. You can go very far. go through there. Some of the maintenance people from our place came over here too. And it's a gated community. It's going to be a gated community. They just don't have the gates up yet. So are the all the apartments open now? Not, not the back side, just the front. Those are like awesome. condos, like town home like things. And they have garages underneath. See, there's them. a door in that one. See, look. Oh yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. Those are townhomes. So on this, on the edges, it's like townhomes. I don't think I like townhomes and different things out here. So the mailboxes are outside. Are you sure those are gonna stay out there? It looks like they just have them out there for now. Doesn't look like it's gonna stay there, but maybe. Because ours, we have all the mailboxes are inside together, right across from where we are. Kind of like to go inside, look at one just to see. They have them online, but it's kind of hard to tell online. Just get a better picture when you see it in person. Alright, we left CVS, didn't get our boosters today because we went in and it even has a sign, make appointments or walk in. So I go in there and ask the lady and she said, about getting the booster, she said, yeah, you have to go online and make an appointment. And we said, oh, I thought you could just walk in, sign says walk in. She says, they used to have a person that did the immunizations there. What she call her? An immunizer, immunizer or whatever. Like that. An immunizer. So, uh, but they don't have one anymore, so you have to make appointments. Well, I thought I'd heard a lot of places you just walk in, like CPS, Walgreens, and stuff like that. But that's why our area is so affordable. Guess not ours anyway. So I had actually got online to try to make an appointment, but it said before we came here because I didn't know if you if it'd be easier just to do that way. But then it only showed another CBS that was further away from us and then it I clicked on it and said no appointments available today so then I'm like well let's just go because I think you can just walk in but I guess not you have to make appointments so now I know you can't today because they're all full so we probably next weekend, just do it next schedule for next Saturday because I'd rather do it like I'm off Sunday Monday so I'd rather do it Saturday so it's off, I'm off the next two days Brad's off Sunday but like this week we can do it tomorrow but he has jury duty Monday so he didn't want to feel sick if he has jury duty money because he has to go to that. He called last night the number and he has to report. So we'll see how long you do it. I hope I'm not picked. I really don't want to be a jury duty. Because you go in and then they pick from that group too. Yeah. So hopefully they won't pick me because I can't be missing work. I get picked every time. Every time I go I get picked for jury duty. The jurors. The two times I've Two times I got called, I went, I got picked as a juror, and then the third time I got a thing in the mail, luckily I called and I didn't have to go. Like I called that number and I didn't have to report that Monday. They canceled it or whatever. But um, every time I do go, I have to report, I end up getting picked as a juror. It's kind of fun though. I I think I've vlogged it. I actually vlogged one time when I was actual juror. You did? Yeah. It was uh, like two, three, three years, four years ago. It. I, mean, I couldn't talk about it, but um, it was actually pretty interesting. So, yeah, we'll see if uh, Brad has to be the juror Monday. So, comment below have you been on jury duty before? Did you go and get picked, or did you go and didn't get picked? I'm kind of curious to see how many people have gotten picked and had to go to jury duty. How many times? So we're getting ready to eat dinner. We got takeout. We got El Magüe Mexican restaurant here. I don't know if they have those everywhere. They have them here in the Midwest anyway. Uh, we got 
the enchilada supremas. It's got a beef enchilada, a bean enchilada, a cheese enchilada, and a chicken enchilada. And then it's got like sauce on there and lettuce, tomato, sour cream on the top. It's really good. And then uh, we got chips and salsa. They give you chips and salsa with it. Brad's already ate most of his. Starving. I had to mess with my candle. I have my candy cane martini candle down there. But you can't see it because the light's so bright. One of the wicks was down to the wax. I had to dig it out of there. Do some surgery on it. We're getting ready to watch Single All the Way on Netflix. Christmas movie. birthday party and then we stopped by and saw some friends of ours we haven't talked to for a long time because they kind of live out by Brad's brother so it's and they have crazy kid schedules too so it's hard to get together so I text before I left my brothers and was like hey you guys home because if you're home we're coming by and they were home so we went by yeah now we're gonna go over here they have this these Christmas lights over here where we're at it's a little drive through park you can go through. So we're gonna go through here, check it out.
right. So we got home, had dinner. Brad and Marco are taking out my boxes for the candles. I got more candles. They sent me more candles. Homeworks did. They sent candles for Scentworks. They sent these to pr promote for... They just started carrying Scentworks candles on their Homeworks.shop website. Normally these are only on sale in Kohl's stores and online at Kohl's.com. But now they are on homeworks.shop. So they have homeworks candles on there and scent works on homeworks.shop. And I think they're on sale for like $12.50 right now. So they sent me lavender mandarin, hot apple cider, butter rum eggnog. That smells really good. I just smelled it. Can't see that it's glaring on the label there. Uh, can't get it to focus on it. Cinnamon wreath does not want to focus on those gold labels. Toasted pumpkin s'mores that smells amazing too. Lilac breeze. Sugar cookie. Spiced mold wine and vanilla sugar. So yeah, they're now all on the homeworks.shop website. So if you go to the website, you can get 10% off your order if you use my code BPARKER10. That's B-P-A-R-K-E-R-10, it's all, all caps. I will put the code down below, so if you wanna go um, use that code, but it's only good through the 15th, so only a few more days. Actually, by the time this vlog is up, it may only be one more day. One or two more days. So you can do that and get 10% off your order. So like these are $12.50. If you use 10% off, you can get these candles for $11.25. Good morning, guys. Oh my God, this is here. It'd be so freaking illegal to be up this early. I'm so not a morning person. It's December the 13th. And it's a Monday. And I have to go to this stupid jury duty crap. And I'm not happy. I so am not an early person. It's like 7.25. My alarm's been going off since 6. <laughs> uh, but here I go. on a smiley face and just go for it. So not ready for it. And it's cold. It's like 39 degrees. Could be colder, but it's still cold. So we'll go see if I get selected from this. From this part, because I think they select you from like and then you go in and then they'll select another group and then let people go or whatever. So we'll see if I get selected for the next part. All right guys, so I'm here. That's the courthouse over there. I'm sure I can't take the camera in, so I'm not going to. So here we go. Good afternoon guys, it's Monday afternoon. I am putting the dishes away. I'm unloading the dishwasher here. I'm drying them. Well, we have to, does anybody else when they, their dishes in the dishwasher, they're still wet? At our house we had before, when we first had that dishwasher, it would completely dry all the dishes on the top. There would be no water or anything on the top of the cups or anything. But then, after so long, it started doing that, and this dishwasher here at the apartments, it does it too. It has the heated dry button we have on there, but there's all these water all sitting on top of the cups and everything on the bottom. We have to, like, I pretty much have to dry them when I take them out before I put them up because there's always water all over them. So I'm drying them sitting over here, and then I'll put them up. And I'm watching, oh, and then I gotta load the dishwasher too. Because we have some dishes in the sink. I'm watching Touch the Fire twice. 
his Hallmark's Candle collection. Um, I haven't had a chance to watch that. He put that up a few days back, and I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, so I'm watching that while I'm doing the, drying the dishes and putting them away, multitasking. Really glad he's back doing candle reviews. And then I'm going to do my empties video. I kind of took a break from doing empties videos. I haven't done them for hardly at all this year. I did, a, I think, one back in February, and I didn't do any for the rest of the year. I just kind of quit doing them because... I don't know, I wasn't getting as many views on the, them like I used to. And then I thought, it's just a lot of work. And I'm like, do I really want to do it or not? So I just, I wasn't keeping my empties. And But now I'm like, I kind of miss doing it. And I just miss talking about all the empties and what I've gone through and everything. So this is like almost two months worth right here. So I'm getting ready to do that video. But I had to wait till Marco left because he went to work. So I was going to wait till he left. And then I um, have the apartment to myself and I can do it. Brad went to jury duty. He went, he had to be there at 8 o'clock this morning and then they decided on who the jury was and he did get picked. He's probably, he took his camera so he's gonna be vlogging in between and stuff. But um, he did get picked. He called me on his lunch. Said he was picked as one of the 13 jurors so it's the first time he's been on a jury. And um, I think we mentioned yesterday, the day before, that I, I've been on a jury twice. Um, both times I got called, I got picked, and then the last time I got a thing in the mail, I called, but I didn't have to report, so. But I've been on a jury twice, so this is his first time. But he has that till five, so then he'll come back after that, and then um, I'm going to finish this, do my empties video, and then um, I'm doing laundry as well, trying to do stuff around here. Um, I wanna to try to go to the P.O. Box to check our P.O. Box. I know we have one card in there, and then I'll, I'll read that here on the vlog. I might stop at the store, get a few things. Um, or I might do grocery pickup tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It depends on how much time I have. But um, yeah, I'm going to finish this so I can hurry up and get my empties video recorded real quick here in a minute. Well, not real quick. It's going to take me a minute to do that. Okay, guys. So I was picked for jury duty. I just got done. They let us out a little early. We're going to finish tomorrow. This really sucks because I had to change all my clients from today to tomorrow. Now I gotta call all of them and change them from tomorrow to Wednesday. They they say we'll be done tomorrow. So let's just pray and hope that we're done tomorrow and I don't have to keep rescheduling my clients. This is the worst time of the year to do that. Ah, uh, like why couldn't they have me on jury duty like, I don't know. April when we're slow because that's tax season, not Christmas when we're busy. Not that I'm real busy at the salon, but it's still hard to reschedule people because they have stuff going on. So it's still kind of difficult, but yeah. I mean, with COVID, the salon business is weird anyways with COVID. I'll be glad to get everything back to normal, but anyways. So yeah, so I gotta go back and finish tomorrow. Not, of course, everybody that has done jury duty, you know, I can't talk about what's going on, but. Uh, my first time ever being picked. And I kept yawning and yawning. I told the guy that's sitting next to me, I was like, yeah, I'm not a morning person, so this really sucks. Like, it should be against the law to have to get up this early. And he's like, oh, I'm up every morning, five o'clock weekends and all and I'm like oh god you're one of those <laughs> he started laughing I was just like oh god no not me not me and he's like oh I'm in bed by 8 30 at the latest who are you like not me and he's even a younger guy he did say something about being in his 30s so he I I bet he's not over 35. He's got to be 30, 32 maybe. Yeah, that's so not me. I, no, not me. I mean, I had to force myself to go to bed last night and force myself to go to sleep so I could get up in the morning and I still did not want to get up in the morning. And I went to bed at like 10, got up at six. Well, the alarm went off at six. I didn't roll out of bed till seven, uh, seven, seven fifteen. So 
so yeah. Not me. I went to the bank and then came home, then Brad had to rearrange some clients because he has to jury duty tomorrow, so has to reschedule them. And I went to check the P.O. box and got a card in the P.O. box. It's a pretty card. It's got Joseph and Mary and the baby Jesus in the manger there. And inside it says, May the blessings of Christmas shine brightly on you and yours. Brett, Brad, and Marco, love your vlogs. Merry Christmas to you all. Sean and Kay. Thank you, Sean and Kay. And they're actually local here. They live here close in town where we are. So that's awesome. awesome. They live not too far from us, it looks like. So thank you for the card. We appreciate it. And like we said, since we're going to be doing not daily vlogs for Vlogmas, we will be vlogging at least around probably next weekend and then of course the weekend at Christmas. So if you send cards, we'll read them on the vlog. Mm -hmm. And then I stopped and got, I didn't have time to go to the store. I'm going to make an online grocery pickup, I think. So I didn't have anything set out. We don't really have anything to cook. I have to hurry because I have to get to respond to a client. Yeah, so I just stopped and got McDonald's. I haven't had a Big Mac in forever. Like, I don't remember last time. It's been forever. And it sounded kind of good, so I got that, and I got fries. The fries were fresh, which is good. I had to wait a little while, which I'm fine with that, because they were nice and fresh. McDonald's has the best fries when they're made fresh. They're my favorite overall out of all the fast food fries. I couldn't move this client, because she goes out of town tomorrow morning, so I had to do her tonight. So I'm going to go in and do her tonight. Even though I have a headache. <laughs> that was stressful today. <laughs> Not used to that kind of stress <laughs> to add to everything else. The fun of jury duty. Alright. Alright guys, so done at the salon. Now to go home. I'm gonna call Brett, see if he's still awake. I'm sure he is. Hey Siri. Call Brett. Calling Brett Parker, iPhone. Sorry, I was sitting here. Some dude was walking up by the salon, so I was making sure it was cool. Yes, baby. I'm vlogging. How are you? Yeah, so you're on the vlog. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so... I just called to tell you that I'm on my way. All right. But I have to stop and I have to drop off all the glass. I didn't have time to do that on the way there? No. And then my client was late, so I could have. <laughs> so I'll just do it now. Sounds good. I'll see you in a bit. All right. All right. I love you. I love you. Later. Later. So anyways, dropping off the glass recycle on the way home. I was going to do it on the way there, but I was afraid I wouldn't have time. And then my client was a little late. So I would have had time, but I'd rather my client be late than me late. I hate to be late for a client. I'm usually there 30 minutes before my first appointment of the day. So, I have plenty of time to be ready for them. So yeah. So anyways, going home, gonna take a shower and go to bed because I got jury duty again tomorrow. I gotta be there bright and early and bushy tailed. So yeah, fun times of jury duty.
done. Ugh. It's chilly out now. It's like 49 degrees out now. And then I don't have any clients tomorrow because I rescheduled all my clients because they say that it could be a late night tomorrow because they want us to try to have a decision done by tomorrow. So we'll try. So I just reschedule all my clients for tomorrow because I don't know what time I'm going to be done. If we get done early though, I might, I might text some of my clients and be like, hey, done early, can you still come in tonight? And just see what they say. Hi guys, end of the vlog. We just went dumpster diving. Brad did. Sure did. Because we threw an envelope. We do Dave Ramsey, so after we paid up our debt, we still do the envelope system where you put cash in envelopes. And then, like our grocery, you have a grocery envelope where you put cash in it, and then we use it at the grocery store. Well, I guess I, I put it in one of the bags. I guess I must have threw it in one of the grocery bags, and I thought I would take it out when I got home. But we must not have took it out. We took the groceries out and threw it in the trash. Oops. So I was like, where's the grocery envelope? Because I had to use it for tomorrow to go to the store. I have a Walmart pickup, but I have to go get some stuff at uh, the Price Chopper. Couldn't find it. I'm like, where is it at? We go look at my car, we look at our coat pockets everywhere. And then I'm like, I think I remember putting money, because I went to Price Chopper for a few things last night. I think I put it, I remember I had in the car, I said I, maybe I threw one of the grocery bags with the groceries. Thinking when I come back in, I would just take it out when I got the groceries out. So we must have done that, but we didn't take it out. We went in the trash with the grocery bags after we took the groceries out. So, so bread, yeah. Huh? Good thing we uh, went gro uh, dumpster diving. Yeah, luckily it was right on top. Uh huh. We found it. And we threw our trash away late at night, so that's a good thing because we, not a bunch of people was going to the trash and throwing our trash in there. It was like right there. I just jumped in, grabbed the bag, threw it out, yeah. jumped out, and started going through it. So now, definitely remember to keep a better track of that envelope. Yeah. Guard it with my life. I can't believe we didn't see it when we threw that back away. Right. Probably because the envelope was kind of old. Maybe it was just yeah. in it and just didn't notice it. I don't know. All right, so we're going to bed. got to work tomorrow. You do. Well, I work. Schmirk, you got jury duty. Schmurry duty. Right. Jury shurry. Jury shmurry. All right, so thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you all in the next vlog. Good night. Good night, y'all.